In this video, we're gonna discuss and rank a bunch of YouTube automation channels that I've either tried and tested myself, or at least I have researched pretty well and have seen them in my YouTube automation community. Hopefully, this will give you a little bit of insight if you are just about or have just started your YouTube automation career to know what to focus on and what not to focus on when you are starting out, so let's go. So guys, if you haven't seen Tarly's videos before, they work very nicely and they're very uh, good. So in the left side, we have rankings from D, which is being the lowest, all the way up to S, which is being the best. And below them, we have a bunch of icons, each representing a niche. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to rank them according to my personal opinions, right? So this is just my personal opinion from starting over 30 YouTube automation channels that are currently netting me over $50,000 a month and helping over 3,000 other people starting and scaling theirs, right? So if you have any comments, any insights, you can drop them in the comments. There are definitely a lot of nuances, but I think this is directionally correct. So let's have some fun. I want to start with the luxury niche. Now, I've never heard a luxury channel, but this is exactly why I want to start with it because I was very, very close to starting one. I did a lot of research, did a lot of digging, even went on to find a team when I realized that it's not the best opportunity for me having other income streams to focus on another YouTube channel right now. But here's what I found out doing all that research. When you speak of the luxury, there are a couple big competitors that are consistently posting and making 10, 20, $30,000 a month out there. But if you look very closely, you'll notice that most of them are doing the same type of content. Nobody's thinking outside the box. Nobody's bringing new idea, fresh ideas to the tables, which is a good sign. It's a very expensive niche. Videos can range anywhere from 70, 80, maybe even all the way to 100 and 120 dollars each. And if you want to keep up the pace with your competitors, you need to be posting at least three, four, maybe even five times per week, which is not very, very beginner friendly. But the channel, once successful, is definitely going to be worth it. As I said, they're people making 10, 20, 30 thousand dollars per month. And what's also good about this niche is that it's pretty evergreen, meaning the videos that you post today will get you views and money for the longest time ever, which is one of the best aspects you can have with the YouTube automation channel where you build something once today, this year, and it starts paying off. Uh, recurring income over the years to come. Now, with all those things being said, guys, I will probably rank Luxury the Diamond as a B because, again, there's a lot of potential, but it's not very beginner friendly. So let's put it right there in the middle. Moving into something a little bit more popular, I want to talk about the celebrities niche. You've probably seen a YouTube automation celebrity channel before because they're everywhere, especially with drama and everything that's going on. So here's my take on them. Now, everybody and their grandma had or at least wanted to have a celebrity channel, including myself. I had a celebrity channel back in the day and it was called Miss trendy. We were modeling Anna Whoop and I got a channel to be successful quite fast, but unfortunately I had a partner on the channel and because of some managerial things, we didn't really agree on how to best run the channel. We had to stop the channel because neither of us wanted to continue that direction. But again, it was a very, very good experience. I made a lot of money in a very, like, I don't know, six to eight month span. And also I definitely learned a lot. Now also speaking of present times, we have a bunch of people in my YouTube automation community with over 3000 members. We have a lot of people going into the celebrity niche and I can tell you it's quite competitive. If you want to have a successful channel in this niche, you need to find your edge. You need to find something to differentiate yourself more than others, more than other niches, because with this niche, there are hundreds of channels, maybe thousands of videos posted every day. So you really need to have something of your own. In the same time, there's also a lot of opportunity. Every time a celebrity or a public person does something, either good, bad or controversial, there are millions of views to capitalize on and thousands of dollars to be made, which is a very, very good opportunity. But what this leads to is a lot of inconsistencies. For example, you can have a channel in the celebrity niche make 15,000, 20,000 this month, and next month you can only make two to $3,000. Personally, I'm not a fan of those fluctuations because you constantly have to stay on top of the game, find the next new thing, find the next new idea, wait on the celebrity to do something stupid, something that people want to see, or I don't know, something hilarious, which is again, in my opinion, it's a downside. But if you are in this world and if you're up to speed with everything, this can be a great opportunity. I almost forgot to rank this one, guys, but celebrities get a C level. To stay in the same area, let's talk about the movies and TV niche. Here, we can either have a general movies and TV channel where we talk about all sorts of show depending on which one is the most popular at the time, or we can niche it down to a singular show like The Simpsons, SpongeBob, even movies like Fight Clubs and The Matrix. Now, similar to celebrities, there are a bunch of trends, right? You can capitalize on a bunch of trends, but this actually gives you the opportunity to niche it down to a singular show like I mentioned before. It can be even SpongeBob or cartoons. And if you do that, and if you build a loyal fan base, those inconsistencies will disappear. You'll be more flat, you'll be more consistent because all those people will watch those videos recurrently because they're specifically interested in that show alone. The barrier to entry for both this niche and celebrities is quite low. I think you can get a decent video done for around $40, which is great for 
beginners. The challenge here though is finding a show. If you decide to niche down, finding a show that will give you content for three, five, maybe even more years to come, right? Because you don't want to be caught yourself in a hamster wheel where you have to post the same content over and over again, hoping to get views because there's nothing else that's being produced. There's there nothing else that's being found, right? This is very, very important. Make sure to avoid this mistake. Now, overall guys, with movies and TVs, I will rank this as an A because again, the barrier to entry is definitely higher. You can niche down. There's a lot of things. There's a lot of opportunity and it doesn't take a lot of time. And there's even not a lot of competition comparing to celebs. So in my opinion, again, my decent humble opinion, this doesn't mean celebs is bad. This is is from my standpoint of view, a slightly better opportunity, right? I want to make one more quick disclaimer, guys, because I just had one of my students ask me uh, this today. Those star list videos, guys, those niches ranking, this is just with my knowledge, my experience, and what I recommend you do if you just start out. Now, does it mean that if you are more inclined towards celebrities or luxury, you should do movies? No, absolutely not. Do something where you have your own edge, your own knowledge, right? That's very, very important. Speaking of which, going back to the roots, I want to talk about the make money online niche. This is the first niche, as you probably know, that I started my YouTube automation journey with, and I actually revealed the whole process, my very first channel in this video. So make sure to watch it after this one. But here's what I learned in about three years of being in this space. Number one, it's very competitive. Even when I started close to three years ago, there were a bunch of people trying to make this videos because you'll see the barrier to entry is quite low if you are smart about it. You can get away with a very, very cost, a uh, very cheap cost of production, but there are a lot of people trying to go at it. So if you try to make the same videos, how to make money with PayPal, surveys, games, apps, whatever websites, it won't really work. Same case with the celebrities. You need to bring something new to the table. You need to see things from a different perspective or do things that haven't been done before in this niche if you wanna have a seat at the table. Now, the upside potential is very high while the barrier to entry is decent, I'd say it's medium, right? You can get videos done for $50 if you're smart about it and you can make a lot of money even outside from AdSense, which has a very high RPM as well, right? So you can make money from affiliate marketing, sponsorships, brand deals and promotions. If you do a lot of out outreach and if you have built a loyal fan base of let's say 20, 30, maybe even 40,000 subscribers, that's when the money will start coming in this niche. Now, the biggest problem that I've had, guys, is that it's very, very hard to break in. It's very hard if you have a brand new channel starting from scratch to break into the niche. It will take at least eight, nine, maybe even 10 months, unless, again, you have something special to bring to the table. And even since I started, I always tried to uh, acquire brands, acquire channels that had pre pre uh, like a big name in the space and scale vertically that way and invest a lot of money into promotions invest a lot of money into boosting my channels using other channels using other communities and stuff like that and even since then i haven't seen a lot of new competitors a lot of new channels coming into a space and making a name for themselves so because of this uh, main money line gets the C level, especially because also I'm making way less money than when I started as I'm still involved with some partners and whatnot. Definitely not my favorite niche, but if I would go back, I would probably start with this one as well. Cause again, it was very challenging. It took me a lot of time to figure it out, but eventually I learned a bunch, a bunch of valuable lessons that I can now share with you guys. Next up sports. Now this is probably one of my favorite niches at the moment. So this one gets the S right of the bat. The reason why there's a lot, a lot of room for new channels. Not only you can have a general sports channels like the the sports news on TV where you can talk about all the different sports, but you can niche it down to a singular sport about talk about one specific and you still have hundreds of millions, if not billions of people interested in that topic. Now, even within a singular sport, guys, there is a lot, a lot of room for potential because with each singular sport, you can have multiple types of channel. You can have a football news channel. You can talk about uh, the footballers lifestyle, their girlfriends, their houses, their mansions, how they spend their money, their cars, all that good stuff. Or you can talk about general evergreen content, all with within a singular sport within the bigger umbrella of sport. So a lot, a lot of opportunity. here. The barrier to entry here is also very low as in you can get videos done for probably like 50 to $60, which is decent. This is the average and the channel won't definitely take you 12 months to be successful. I think a six month time frame is more than realistic for this niche. If you know what you're doing, of course. And finally, you will never run out of content ideas. Again, sports will probably be here forever. So again, very, very good one. It gets the S tier right at the bat. Technology. I have plenty of experience with this niche, although I've never run a technology channel myself, but I've seen a lot of data from behind the scenes of my students' channels and they have made bank with it. So here's my take. First, I want to say that from the outside guys, you will say that there's not a lot of room for movement. There's not a lot of room for improvement or new ideas because the guys are pretty creative and are doing a very, very good job with the quality of videos that are being done. The bird to entry is a little bit higher as in you need like 70 to $80 uh, per video to get things done and you probably need to post two to four times a week. 
But if you're passionate about it and if you know what you're talking about, if you want to do the research, if you want to put in the work, there are still new topics to be talked about. There are still new sub niches to be occupied and capitalized on. So there is still a little bit of opportunity left there. It's also not really the most beginner friendly because you cannot really get knowledge on the spot if you have literally no tangency with a niche or you've never watched a video before or you are not passionate or about this. I don't really recommend trying to start this and learn on the spot because it really doesn't work. But if you have those things, if you have that, it's not uh, capped, right? You can easily earn 20, 30, 40 thousand dollars in a month, which makes it uh, very, very great potential. Now, if you are passionate, if you have all those boxes, I would definitely say that uh, technology can be an S. But because again, not everybody is that like that. And here we want to speak to the masses. I want to rank it as a B next to luxury because again, there's a lot of potential, but the barrier to entry is a little bit higher than the average. Next, let's flip the switch and talk about crypto. I had a crypto channel called Top Crypto, which I also revealed in this video. So make sure to watch it right after, but it wasn't the most representative anyway. So here's what I actually believe now in 2023 about the cryptocurrency niche when it comes to YouTube automation. Crypto, it's a tough one. Just like the market, it's very, very volatile. When crypto was up and everybody was investing in it and everybody was very, very bullish, there were a lot of channels, a lot of sub niches, a lot of videos, a lot of views, and a lot of money to be made. But currently it's not at all like that. The bear to entry it's also pretty, pretty high meaning again those are people who are mostly fanatics or who want to learn about it so you have to know what you're talking about and personally i didn't and i had a very very hard time finding talent who knew what they were talking about and me figuring it out if they actually knew what they were talking about and again it took me months only until i got comments like this guy doesn't know what he's talking about the script is completely off or he's saying things that are outdated and all that stuff which again if you pull it off it's gonna be pretty costly we're speaking maybe 80 to 150 dollars to get a very very good crypto video put together now the premium is decent which makes you need millions of views to make decent money and if you combine that with the fact that back in the day there were probably like 20 30 maybe even 40 successful channels and now looking at a niche i've done a little bit of research before there are only like five channels who are still making good money still pushing content out there still being profitable that makes it very very tough so unfortunately Crypto gets the lowest level in this video, gets the D level because I don't think it's a great opportunity, especially because with YouTube automation, we want something that's reliable. We want something that we set up once and then we don't have to worry about it that's gonna stop making money or it's gonna stop becoming relevant or at least if it stops becoming relevant, we can reinvent ourselves and it's definitely not the case with crypto. Now guys, if you wanna see the part two of this video because we still have a couple niches uh, to rank, I will definitely do it. Just let me know in the comments and if we get enough views, enough comments, I will definitely do part you and rank those niches i won't tell you what they are but if you want to learn more about youtube automation you can watch this video right here as well